Welcome friends in a detailed video on qualification test needs to be performed for deparagination tunnel or deparagination oval. In this video we will go through various tests like airflow velocity test, filter system leakage test, tunnel belt or conveyor speed verification, non viable particle count and heat penetration and endotoxin challenge study. If you are new to this channel, please subscribe to channel for more informative videos on pharmaceutical industry. Now we will see the first test air velocity check. The purpose or objective of this test is to check the factors that affect cross sectional air velocity distribution in tunnel ventilated systems. And this air velocity check is done to ensure maintenance of continuous laminarity, la laminarity of HEPA filters installed in tunnel or oven. To perform this test we need hot air anemometer. During the procedure for this air velocity check we should maintain or keep this test going for at least 30 minutes and only 10 personnel should be involved in the activities. Here air velocity should be checked for the different zones of the tunnel and its measurement point should be at 6 inches below the filter face. Acceptance criteria for air velocity check is air velocity should be maintained within 90 feet per minute plus or minus 20 percent of mean unit velocity for even distribution of temperature. Now we will see second qualification test that is filter system leakage test. The objective of this test is to verify integrity of HEPA filter installed in the sterilization and deparagination tunnel. HEPA filter installation has been done properly and qualifies the filter integrity test. To perform this test, equipments used are aerosol generator and aerosol photometer. To perform this test, place the aerosol generator to introduce an aerosol challenge upstream of HEPA filter in zone wise manner in concentration of 80 to 120 micro milligram per meter cube of air by opening appropriate number of nozzles. Then with the photometer, aerosol photometer we should check the leakages for filter by scanning the downstream side of HEPA filter, its perimeter, the seal between the filter frame and grid and the structure including its joints also. To perform this test, photometer gain or span control for full scale deflection on 100% rate shall be set and then downstream particle count should be checked. Acceptance criteria for this test is photometer reading downstream of HEPA filtration unit caused by the leakage should be less than 0.01% of the upstream challenge concentration of aerosol 100%. Third qualification test is tunnel belt or conveyor speed verification. This test is performed to ensure the tunnel conveyor belt speed meets the required specified conditions or the speed. And to perform this test we need vernier caliper and stopwatch. In this procedure start this stopwatch when advanced signal reaches the start position and run for one minute. Acceptance criteria for this method is conveyor speeds shall not more than the 3% of set speed. Whatever speed uh, we set on tunnel belt or conveyor that should be accurately achieved by tunnel or conveyor belt. Here 3% of variation E is considered acceptable to the set speed. Fourth qualification test is non viable particle count. Objective of non viable particle count test is to establish that at different locations within the tunnel, count size of particle per cubic meter is within the limit. To perform this test, particle counters are used wherein the isokinetic probes are located at a specified location under the filter of conveyor belt of tunnel and readings are observed. Here, the particle counts for all the zones of sterilizing tunnel shall be taken into the consideration. Acceptance criteria for non-viable particle count is that the particle counts taken under HEPA filter in 
the different zones of sterilizing tunnel should meet the requirements of ISO 5 or class A. And fifth very important test for qualifying the deprivation tunnel is heat penetration and endotoxin challenge study. In this test we use 9 to 10 spiked vials with approximately 10,000 EU vial of bacterial endotoxin from microbiology. Objective of this test is to ensure that heat is sufficiently penetrating into the innermost portion of the vial subjecting for sterilization or depyrogenation to achieve desired temperature during the sterilizing or depyrogenating the cycle. Acceptance criteria for this test is all temperature measured in the in the chamber is should be 300 degrees Celsius or more than that and the recovery of endotoxin concentration after in sterilization and deparation should be at least 3 log reduction. Thank you for watching video. Please subscribe to channel for more informative videos on pharmaceutical industry.